Hi guys, it's me, Adrian again. I got another bit Lemmings video for you. On another hack by somebody else. Today, um, I've got another hack for you. It's um, by a wonderful hacker by the name of Josh Russell. Uh, he's a fellow Australian like me. Um, he gave us this wonderful colour hack on the Sega Mega Drive. Um, I'll just show you all the wonderful edits that he's done. Well, you've already seen. The intro was um, had different colours. And the, uh, the title screen there had different colours. Much improved. Much improved palette over the original. So what do we got? Um, just dig. We got better colours here. Look at that grass. Look at the colour of the earth. Looks so much better than before. That vomit colour's gone. So it's very similar to the Slogra hack. I'm just showing you the main feature of this hack before I talk about other things. Um, sorry guys, I'm just, I'm very tired. Um, where was I? Yeah, I was talking about the colour hack. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Josh... Russell has uh, made a very good color hack here and um, we've, we've, is there's more edits done um, as you can see the color of uh, some of the wording there is different see where it says your password for level 2 yeah that's been changed that's got a darker hue all these edits were done by Josh um, I'll just show you some of the other stuff he's done. I think these ones have had a touch up as well. The um, yellow brick and pillar levels. Because uh, these ones look like. Um... Oops, I missed one. These ones look like they've had a touch up too. It's improved for the better, of course. Um, I'm not sure about these ones. Rusted brick and pipe tile set levels. I think these ones are untouched. Yeah, back up playing it. I'll just quickly show you. Uh, but what I love that... Josh has done is um, the blue crystal icy blue looking levels look much better than they used to um, so we come to the first one here now just pay attention to these poles here look at that beautiful dark black in the center that's how it should be that's how it was on the Commodore Amiga uh, it wasn't like that in the retail Mega Drive Genesis version the inside color of those pillars was a exactly adjacent to the blue background there so um, yeah it looks much better all these um, edits are done to the PAL version by the way this is now the PAL version I'm talking about when the last video was slog right it was about the um, the NTC Japanese um, Mega Drive Genesis version whereas this one it's the PAL version yeah we got that now we come to the really good looking ones the red hell ones now these levels have always been my favorite in the game and they look much much better here look at the brickwork here look at that nah that nice dark reddish color i love it well before they were like gray 
And it looks so much better here. Everything looks better. Everything's had a nice touch up. I really appreciate what Josh has done. Yeah. Um. Have I shown you all? Have I just shown all the tile sets? I think I have. Um, he's done other things. Um, I'd have to um, play a bit to show you. Because I want to go over all Josh's um, edits before I talk about my own. Because everything that Josh has done is way more important. Now, in this hack, I'm sorry if I'm talking slow, guys. I'm just, I'm very tired. I'm, I'm, I had a very stressful day and I wanted to record this video so I can upload it tomorrow. Um, what, what was I going to say? Um, I've lost what I was talking about. I have to play a bit to show you some more of the edits that Josh has done. He's done more things with the colors. So you're going to have to bear with me. Look at that hot ash. Looks so good. Yeah, here, the little animation here. There's been a touch up here. Look how nice that looks. Beautiful colors. Look at that nice brown where it says next rating is. Yep, much better than before. Um, I'm going to have to go to Sunsoft level 30, aren't I? I might just pause it here and play the level and then I'll um, unpause it so I can show you the credits because the other work that he's done is in the credits where he's changed the colours. So just bear with me. Okay guys, I'm back. I just did the level, I just unpause the video so uh, we can show you the ending credits and you can see the nice hue and the nice pinkish tinge that he's added into the backdrop looming there and also pay attention to the text there because the, the colors change too but that nice brown instead of that instead of the original yellow So, um, oh, what else can I talk about? There's so many things I've, I've got to mention in this video. Um, so far I've only talked about Josh's colour um, edits, which is the main aspect of this hack. Now, much like the Slogger hack, I have contributed to this hack as well. So, all I have done is put my... Um, I fixed up the level title names, some of them, just like I did in the in the, in the Slogra hack. Um, I made the exact same edits. I fixed up the same typos as you saw before. It said graphics. Graphics was spelt correctly, where it wasn't in the original retail version. Well, I fixed that. It wasn't hard to do. Um, so some of the, so like I mentioned in the last video, some of the level title titles are spelt wrong and some of them are called different things from the Commodore Omega version when they shouldn't be. So I went and fixed some of them up and I'll show you that next. I'm just waiting for this to finish so we can see the backdrop lemming light up. And you'll see the nice pinkish tinge that Josh has done. <clears throat> ah, look how beautiful that is. So apparently he wanted to make it more pinkish looking so it would match the cover of 
the Master System cover of Lemmings because it's got the same sort of pinkish tinge to the main lemming there and I, I, I wanted to do the same thing and it, it looks great so that's that so that's all the I think that's all the colour edits out of the way we'll get to what I've done now I suppose oh he's also done some other things like um I'm surprised I never thought of this you know I never thought of it but he moved the exclamation point closer to where it says dig like it should be in the Commodore Amiga 500. Um, for some reason, the exclamation point was spaced further, a space away from the G, where it shouldn't be. So I could have done that, but I never thought of it. So, you know, that's great. I'm so glad Josh fixed that. Um, so if you didn't watch the last video, I was talking about how some of the level titles are wrong in the retail version of this game. Like, for instance, Level 10 of Fun, it was called Five Miles If You Love Lemmings. Where in the original Commodore Amiga, it was always called, or it was always called Smile If You Love Lemmings. For some reason, whether it was intentional or not, they changed it to Five Miles If You Love Lemmings. But I've restored it back to Smile If You Love Lemmings. So that should bring a smile on everybody's face. Uh, the next edit I did, I only made two edits in fun, is level 26. Right? I called it Nightmare on Lem Street. Because in the original retail version, they called it the Great Lemming Caper. I don't know why, because there's a level that, the repeat that comes l later on, the, the, the same map that's like a repeat, it comes later on in Mayhem Level 13. It's called the Great Lemming Caper. It's the same map, but it's, there's a different solution to get through the level. But they just called it the same thing here. I don't know why, but I've restored it back to what it should be, what it is in the Commodore Amiga. So I hope everybody's happy with that. So I've made two edits in fun. I've made about four in tricky. Let's get to tricky now. And uh, we get to level four. Been there, seen it, done it. That's what the level's called in the original Commodore Amiga version, and that's what it's called on the Sega Master System port of Lemmings. But on the Mega Drive, they called it the Ascending Pillar Scenario. But that should only be the name of the repeat that comes later in taxing level 11 which I've got here um, so again they did the same thing like they did with the great lemon caper they gave the same level title to two different levels they had the same map but they have different solutions to get through it so the ascending pillar scenario is a lot more difficult than say been there seen it done it So there you go, I've fixed that up for you. Uh, and then we get to level six. Now this one's quite interesting. The only reason I changed it to Lemmings in the Basement is because if we jump back to fun, 21 here, in the original Commodore Amiga version, the level was called um, You Live and Lem. But here, on the Mega Drive version, they've called it Lemmings in the Attic. But Lemmings in the Attic is originally the name of, I think, level 11 of Tricky on the Commodore Amiga. Um, so this is what Lemmings in the Attic looks like on the Mega Drive version. As you can see, it's a completely brand new level. This is not what Lemmings in the Attic looks like on the Commodore Amiga. But just for completion's sake, uh, I left that alone. Okay, I let I let the new level there have that have that title and changed um, what was it? Level six of tricky lemmings in the base. Uh, sorry, lemmings in the attic, which should be called lemmings in the attic. In the retail version, it was called lemming in the attic. So all they did was take off the S. But I didn't like that. I wasn't satisfied with that. So I thought I'll just give it a bit of zing. I'll just call it 
you know, Lemmings in the loft or Lemmings in the basement. So I went with Lemmings in the basement. And this is what the uh, Lemming, the original Lemmings in the attic looks like on the Commodore Amiga. So are you confused yet, guys? <laughs> They're very confusing. So anyway, it's called Lemmings in the Basement. Uh, and then we get to the next edit. The text edit that I've done for the level title is level 16 of Tricky. Lovely jubbly. Again, in the Mega Drive Genesis retail version, they misquoted it as lovely jubilee. And I don't know why, but it's not jubilee. I mean, every time I hear the word jubilee, I think of that character from X-Men. Um, it's it should be lovely jubbly. That's what it was in the Commodore Amiga, so that's what I changed it to. And apparently, from sources that I've looked up, it's some kind of British British slang um, that was used in some British comedy. Might have been called Only Fools and Horses or Last of the Summer Wine. I'm not sure because I've never actually sat down and watched those shows. I'm familiar with a lot of um, British sitcoms and comedies, but I'm not so familiar with those ones. But apparently that's, I've, according to some, some of the sources, that's where the slang came from. I know when my dad first read that title in the Master System version, um, he thought it meant something else. <laughs> he thought it meant a woman's large breasts. <laughs> but it doesn't. Um, so that's that. Um, I changed it back to Lovely Jubbly. Then we come to the next one, which is straight after that one. It's Diet Lemming Aid. Now, I'm not sure why, but it was spelt wrong, as far as I'm concerned. It, it did, doesn't make sense. Like, it was spelt Diet Lemming Aid in the retail version, but it had, it was spelt A-I-D on the end. And that's not the same aid as, you know, say the drink, lemonade. Um or Gatorade, or Powerade, or... It, it, it's... Aid, spelled A-I-D, is like you're coming to somebody's rescue, or, you know, you, you, you're coming to somebody's help. It doesn't quite make sense, Diet Lemming Aid. So, I went and changed that to Diet Lemming Aid. That's how, incidentally, that's how it's spelled in the Master System port of Lemmings. So... I know that's how it is on the Master System version, so I just changed it to Diet Lemming Aid, which it looks better like that. Um, what else is there? Uh, next we got... Is that all I did in... Yeah, I only did four... Uh, edits in Tricky. Yeah, as I mentioned in the last video, level 21 in Tricky should be all the sixes. I hate how that level is removed, because that was a really good one. It's, you know, it's a completely different level here. I'm not saying this is a bad level, but it's not as good as all the sixes. Um, it's a completely new level that took its spot. All the sixes was a great level. It was... Basically, all it was was it was a reddish hell fire looking level tile set, and the uh, they come out of the first six, and that and the exit is located in the the last six. So you had to make your way across. But I'm just assuming that it was taken out of a lot of ports. And re-releases of Lemmings because you know they might have thought the de developers might have thought that it might have caused offence to certain religious groups of people. Um, I just assuming, but in I will point out that in the Master System port they did try to sort of get around it. Like it's kind of in the Master System version, but it kind of isn't. It, it, and if you've played that port, you'll know that when you come to level 21 of Tricky, there's a level that's called Sixes Not. Right? They're trying to parody the original or the Sixes. So they put the level title is called Sixes Not. 
with an exclamation point and the release uh sorry you have to get like 66 percent to be saved or more and instead of three sixes they just change it to three squares and you've got it they come out of the they come out in the first um what do you call it in the first square and you've got to make your way across to the third square all they did was take the 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 top parts off you know if they would have left the top parts it would have looked like three sixes but you know i guess kudos to probe they got around it so going back to some of my level edits here uh in taxing i only did one i left all the rest alone because the rest are pretty much okay level 16 mary poppins land um i just realized this video is dragging on a lot longer than the, the, the slog one one uh, Mary Poppins land um, that's what it is in the Commodore Amiga version uh, but on the Mega Drive Genesis retail version they changed it to Umbrella land I don't know why they changed it to Umbrella land but it should be Mary Poppins land and this is what it looks like so that's that uh, in Mayhem I only made one edit and that is level 20 no added colors or lemmings and you know I don't want to offend anybody but it was spelt colors were spelt with a U in the original Commodore Amiga version so that's the only that's the main reason I put the U back into colors there you know because the Genesis Mega Drive retail version did not have the U in it. So that's the proper way to spell colours anyway, but it was in the Commodore Mega version, so I put it here in, in the Mega Drive, in this Mega Drive hack. So that's that's it, that's pretty much all my edits done. You know, I, I only made about two in fun, four in tricky, one in taxing and one in mayhem. I did not touch present at all, I didn't touch any of these, there's no um, typos in any of these, and same with Sunsoft, these are all extra levels that were not in the Commodore Amiga version, and there's no typos as far as I know, so I left all these alone, so that's it from my contribution. I just want to point out that, um, let me get out of here, go back to the title screen, uh, I'll, I'll, I just want to show one more thing, we'll go back to level 2, because it's nice and quick, I'm just going to save one, because uh, Josh has made one more edit that I didn't show. And it's a text edit, so it's something I, I could have done, but I wasn't aware that it was changed. So I've only saved the one, so I did that deliberately so it would say that spot on. You can't get much closer than that. Let's try the next. Now in the original Mega Drive Genesis retail version, yet again, it didn't say that. It said right on. You can't get much closer than that. But in the Commodore Amiga version, Josh told me that it said spot on so he's gone ahead and altered that so that's great I'm really happy with that and I love that brown too I, I love how it, where it says your password for level 3 I love how it's brown and not it's like a bronze coffee coloured brown isn't it it's not yellow so it does look much better So, I think I've showed all our edits. So, just before I stop the video, I know this is dragging on, and it's because I'm tired. And I'm sort of forcing myself to do this video a little bit. Um, what else haven't I mentioned? Have I mentioned everything? Yeah. Um, pretty much. It just, I just want to say one thing. So, I've went and asked for permission this time. From Josh to go ahead and ed add my level edit level edits in 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 his hack. So he's given me the approval to do that. So I just want to point out that 
everything's fully authorized this time and because of that if you want to download this hack uh, you can go to romhacking.net which is the proper way to do it so it I know it is annoying you have to patch you have to get the patch from there and then you've got to have a copy of the original ROM file and you've got to have the patching software to do it yourself you have to do it all yourself um, that's just how it is but the good thing is it, there'll be more public exposure more people will know about it um, because I mean I could have done it the other way I spoke to Josh about this I said which way would when it comes time to release the hack um, how are we going to release the hack? Are we going to put it on romhacking.net or, or am I just going to upload it on my mega account and you guys can get it from there as a full ROM file, bin file. So I said to Josh, I said, wait a minute, why don't I send you the hack with my, you know, level edits done and then you can put it on romhacking.net. So he's gone ahead and done that. So I'll put the links in the description. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, um, you can do that. So apparently it's sitting at uh, Lemmings Europe PAL version um, color and level title fix uh, version 1.1. So now I just want to point out that if any of you guys are wondering why every time I put a hack out myself, I always put, I always do it through you, a YouTube video, and I always put it on, you know, one of the store, uh, personal storage sites like um, file sharing sites like Mediafire or Mega or Jumpshare or something like that. It's because I did go to sign up on romhacking.net once when I made that Alex Kitty Miracle World hack a few years back and I had a bad experience with romhacking.net I actually had two bad experiences with romhacking.net I actually only told Josh that I had one but I actually had two um, the first time was with the Alex Kitty Miracle World hack uh, I forget I can't even remember the, the, the hack that I did what was it extended something extended edition that's it yeah Jesus, and my mind's going, my mind's all mush at the moment because I'm so tired. Um, I signed up an account on romhacking.net a few years back and I wasn't prepared for what was the, what was in store for me. I, um, and I'm talking, it wasn't a good experience. Um, I tried to upload the patch on romhacking.net because everything's got to be in patch form and that's fine I don't know, that's not the issue it's just they sent me a really like blunt email it, it was it was a, I felt it was a bit rude they got back to me saying that oh in order for you to post your upload your hack on our database um, your hack has to be approved by two senior ROM hackers in our community and then they also added that you cannot put your own video uh, game description on the page you know we decide uh, what to write on on the page and so forth and it just I thought to myself no I'm not going to be treated like this I mean I there's too many rules and regu there's too many rules and regulations so I just thought no stuff this I'm gonna just put it on make a video about it and let people download it from my YouTube video and put it on one of my accounts on the file sharing sites but in doing it that way it means not many people are gonna know about the hack that's 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 the only thing that the only bad thing about it yeah you get to download it as a full you know ROM file but you don't get to um You don't get to, you don't get all the, the as much public exposure. And, and my channel's only small on YouTube, so it's not like I get a lot of um, views on my videos compared to a lot of la the larger content creators. 
So I want to thank Josh again for uploading it on romhacking.net because that means it, this Lemmings hack gets more exposure. And uh, I'll just quickly point out that the second bad experience I had on romhacking.net was uh, there's a game called Zero Wing. It's a shoot 'em up, and it's one of my favourite Mega Drive games, one of my favourite shmups. Anyway, someone made this stupid hack on the on romhacking.net. If you go look up Zero Wing, you'll see it there. Uh, they claim that by changing the ROM ROM header from a, a, a Europe ROM to a USA ROM, they claim that it speeds the game up. Now I've gone ahead and fact checked. I've gone ahead and fact checked this, and it's completely false. It does not make the game run any faster than it already does. Now, when you run the Europe version, because it's a game that was only released in PAL regions and Japanese, and the and the Japan um, Mega Drive region regarding the PAL version because it's got it's got an English translation you know the famous English translation you know or your base belong to us um, that's the one that got hacked and all they the hacker did was change the E to a U and claim that the game runs faster in NTSC Genesis um, region which it doesn't you can just get the PAL ROM and run it in NTSEU and it, it runs faster anyway so anyway I went to try and write a quick review about the hack but I don't know what it was because I, I was a bit negative about it the bastards never approved my um, my comment my quick reply so you know I, this, again they said oh it's good your comments got to be approved and so I gave up you know, so I had two bad experiences personally on with, with romhacking.net. I'm not saying it's a bad site or anything. It's a great site. It's it's where I go to look for stuff. I'm sure many of you do. I'm just saying, you know, I thank God for Josh because Josh went ahead and fixed all this up. So, you know, give all your thanks to Josh, not me. Um, yeah, so... Regarding the Alex Kid hack, when I tried to put it on romhacking.net and it didn't go through, you know, I went to SMS Power, which is the 8-bit forum for Game Gear and Master System Sega games, and they were fine. They didn't have a problem with it. I, I, I registered an account on there, and I put the hack there in patch form, and I never had a problem with any of the administrators. And I was allowed to put my, my own game description on the page, so I don't understand why one is so, you know, hard up themselves where they put so many rules and regulations that, you know, some of us, it's just too much for some of us. And then you got another one sitting right next to it where they're so, they're so much more open and so much more kinder. So, you know, that's just, I'm just saying that's just my experience. Um, what else can I quickly mention? <laughs> oh my god, it's getting long. Um, oh. Yeah, I'll go back. I want, I, want to talk, I want to mention this before, in case nobody's aware. Now, this is something totally different about this hack. Um, if you're ever wondering why you only have an option to play the game with the music or there's another option here where you can play it with sound effects only but the sound effects in this game when you go to effects there uh, it plays the sound effects as samples and uh, they sound dreadful actually in the levels um, this sound driver in this game uh, f it, it's very very strange the way that it's it's been programmed to work with the rest of the game so 
there are all the original sound effects. I don't know if you can hear that. The boing. Yeah, these are all the original sound effects that were in the Commodore Amiga version. But you can only play it with these sound effects when you turn the music off. And there's a reason for that. Uh, it is because, going back to the sound driver, the sound driver isn't programmed to play samples and FM and PSG audio at the same time. It can play FM and PSG at the same time, but it cannot play uh, PCM DAC samples at the same time. It's either one or the other. It can still play the samples, but not with the music, not with FM and PSG. That's why all the sound effects are sampled when you turn off the music. It's to do with the sound driver. It's, this is a great sound driver, by the way. I mean, the, the music on this version of Lemmings is phenomenal. To me, I, I think it's the, the best sounding port out of all of them. It's very Sega arcade-ish sounding. It's good. It's, and the drums sound really good, you know. I mean, it's using FM drums. But that kick drum and that snare drum, they really sound like, you know, for years I thought they were sampled drums. You know? That kick drum sounds like it's right out of an album. I'm thinking of an artist called Donna Summer. She had a disco album in 1979 called Bad Girls. If you listen to the kick drum on that, it sounds almost it sounds identical. I think one of the songs too on that album. There's a song on that album called Maybe My Baby Understands. If you listen to the snare, it sounds like the exact same snare in this game. And and just to think that the drums aren't even sampled from that. It's the all drums are all FM created here, but it sounds exactly the same. So it's just something I noticed. Um, yeah, so guys, I'll, I'll, I'll cut the video here. I won't go over 40 minutes. Um, that's pretty much everything. So if you want to try the PAL version, guys, there's a PAL equivalent now of a color hack so you've got the slogger hack for the NTSC Genesis and the Japanese Mega Drive now you got one for the PAL Mega Drive and it's all thanks to Joshio so thank you Joshio everybody say thank you Joshio we have the best PAL version of Lemmings now on the Mega Drive so yeah alright guys I'll cut it here I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.